Hey everyone, um, generic YouTube intro here. So, recently I decided to start making a few more gaming commentaries again, you know, start start making a few more of those videos because I get more time to do them nowadays now that a lot of my other commitments for the year are over. Um, but today's not, not a casual one or not even a normal video. What I really wanted to talk about today was uh, something that kind of affected me over the past three, four days. So, if you haven't heard, rock legend Chris Cornell passed away a few days ago. It's something that really was very unexpected to me. And to be honest, Chris Cornell and Soundgarden have taken up a third of my life, at least. Probably my biggest inspiration in terms of songwriting has been Soundgarden and how Chris Cornell writes music. There's legitimately nobody else in the history of music who's ever made his style of music, the way that he writes his lyric, the way that he creates music, the way he riffs on guitar. There's just so many things and I remember a few years ago when I, when I had major depression, I got into this, this phase where all I'd listened to was Soundgarden and it really helped me out. Uh, a few of the songs that I heard by Soundgarden were something that I could honestly just relate to completely. Um, the point here is that the night I found out, I came down with a fever and I had no, you know, I had no idea that this had happened. I couldn't sleep the whole night because I had some major problems. I had, I had a bad fever, I got a cold, I was, uh, I was desperately trying to stay warm um, with the blankets and everything, but I couldn't get to sleep the whole night. In the morning, somebody texted me and they told me, hey, did you hear? Um, Chris Cornell passed away. And I swear to God, my immediate reaction was, please don't fuck with me. This can't be real. Because I know what's been happening. And I know, like, out of all the musicians, rock stars, whoever, um, I'd expect to pass away just like that. So suddenly, Chris was not one of them. Because in recent years, he's been living a very healthy lifestyle. He had his troubles with addiction early on in the 90s. And throughout his career at points but recent years no he's been a total family man living clean far as I know far as the world knows um, getting back with Soundgarden 2012 I mean I was so happy you know I, I swear uh, King Animal is one of my all-time favorite records and now that I see how that was Soundgarden's last record before Chris died it just I don't know man everything about everything about how this has gone down has completely, completely destroyed me because a lot of Chris's songs, a lot of Soundgarden songs were so close to me in terms of um, what I've been through and how they helped me out. Some of my all-time favorite songs are Soundgarden songs and that's saying something because I listen to a lot of other bands as well and I've had a lot of strong influences apart from Soundgarden too, but Soundgarden in terms of just the way that it's moved me, a couple of songs like there was this one song called Like Suicide, which was, honest to God, it's one of the most beautiful songs I've ever heard in my whole life. It's just complete poetry. You don't listen to that kind of lyrical or that kind of musical composition these days. It's it's not, it's just not natural anymore. It just doesn't happen anymore. And it's such a curse how Chris is one of the big four grunge bands and, you know, Kurt passed away first and Lane Staley uh, from Alice in Chains later on. and. You know, now it's Chris Cornell, and I swear to God, I, when I saw how healthy Chris was, and the world never expected it, because they played a show right before, you know, and it happened during the night, and they say it's a suicide, and medication was involved, or whatever, but I honestly, honestly can't help but really wish that this is all some sort of nightmare, and I'm just gonna wake up and... You know, this is just going to be one one big joke to me and I'm just going to be relieved and laugh about it and just think, you know, Chris is still alive and we're still going to get to hear more Soundgarden. It's still going to be so close to my heart because um, when I listen to albums like Super Unknown and albums like Bad Motor Finger, the very first rock song I ever heard in my whole life was um, Rusty Cage by Soundgarden. I remember I was a kid. Um, in the late 90s and I got Road Rash and Road Rash had that song and I swear to God I, I loved it it made the game for me grunge made that game for everybody that that game was just pure 
pure honesty, pure grit. It was a great game, and Soundgarden was a big part of that because Soundgarden was in most of the cutscenes in that game. And I just I remember as a kid loving that song, and I'd forgotten about it. I had no idea it was Soundgarden. You know what I mean? Like I used to read that it was Soundgarden, but obviously years and years later, when I got back into checking out grunge and checking out early '90s music, and I realized that it had been Soundgarden all along. I want to mention a few other really big favorites of mine. My all-time favorite song is The Day I Tried to Live, and it's a song based on um, mental imprisonment and how mental institutions, the way they alienate you and keep you apart from normal civilized life, can completely break you down, and it just leaves you worse off than you started. And, and you know, the video that they, they made for this song, I mean, I can't... I can't explain to you how much that video uh, resonates with me and how much I understand the art behind everything that Soundgarden ever did, everything that Chris Cornell ever did. It's amazing, it's incredible, it's so ironic and if you listen to how many songs Chris Cornell has written about suicide and about alcoholism and um, his song his song Burden in My Hand is a big, uh, big reference to alcoholism and how he struggled with it and how he wants to leave it behind. Chris was living a positive life. If you look at his tweets, if you look at his, uh, his work right before he died the past few years, it's been amazing. And, and there's just no way that, I mean, anybody could have seen what happened. It's really affected me musically as well. I, I will be making some sort of tribute on my upcoming record for sure. Uh, my upcoming EP is called Ghost in the Machine. A lot of you have been seeing songs and seeing videos that I've made uh, from this record itself and it's definitely going to have something big because I, I'd like to commemorate and I'd like to pay tribute to one of the greatest vocalists of all time, one of the greatest songwriters of all time and definitely my biggest influence when it comes to songwriting. Right next is Tom York from uh, Radiohead or Rob Crow from Pinback or Brian Warner from <laughs> Marilyn Manson. <laughs> um, anyway, thank you so much for listening to me talk about Soundgarden a little bit. I am going to be making more commentary videos um, in the time that I have free. And, um, you know, obviously I hope you enjoy the gameplay. I'm going to be coming up with some reviews as well pretty soon. Um, thanks, thanks a lot for checking this out. I appreciate it.